Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a first look on a really, actually surprisingly great application called Photoshop.com Mobile. Now, everybody knows Photoshop, probably one of, if not the absolute best, photo editors for your computer. Well, now there's a version of it for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and I gotta say, I've messed with it for a little while, and it is really, really solid. And best of all, it's free. Now, I, I, there's no reason not to get this, even if you just wanna mess with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a demo of some of the features. So let's go ahead and first you got to open up, find a picture. Um, I've already got one. Let's see where I put it. Here we go. This is just a screenshot from Galcon Labs. So now you come into the main interface. you got along the bottom you have like just to exit. And you have undo and redo. And you have save and I will show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and go through some of the things. So first you can crop. Crop, rotate and flip. But I'll go ahead and show you guys crop. Crop's really nice, really smooth. That's one thing that I really like about this. Everything is smooth. It's, I mean, there's no, you would, I mean, you'd think that, you know, so let's go ahead and look at that. So now you see we've got cropped, and then we can go ahead and undo it. Um, next we have rotate. Works really well. I mean, seriously, I mean, just flick it. I mean, the iPod, I mean, that's, I just can't believe how just great it runs. Just, I mean, you know, just, just flip it. it doesn't, I mean, you would think, because these aren't, I mean, obviously it's not full Photoshop, but it still runs really well. Let's go ahead and flip it. Oops. Let's go ahead and flip it. So now, we just flip it, and just <laughs> get totally messed up and do whatever we want. Go ahead and get back that. Next, we can go into the color. So let's go to exposure. Now, there's not a whole lot of on-screen controls, but it's really simple. Basically, put your finger there, and then you slide it left and right. So you see here, it's kind of... Good. Let's go ahead and just say that. Um, there's also saturation, which I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up, but we can go ahead and saturate full color, which looks crazy bright. We can drag it all the way down and kill all the color off. I like that one myself, but let's go ahead and go to tint. And we can go ahead and just really, you know, just go through. You see the top bar. I'm going to put my finger here. You can go through all the different colors, which looks really quite nice. Um, let's go ahead and open up black and white, which obviously, you know, black and white, but uh, let's go ahead and undo that. Now let's go ahead and sketch. Sketch is a really nice feature because this might not be the best one because obviously, you know, it's a game, but it still gives you a pretty, pretty nice deal. Let's go ahead and get out of that though. Um, soft focus, which just kind of, kind of like softens the image, I suppose, which it works pretty well. You can see here it Again, my camera's not great, so, but it definitely does really, you know, make the image really nice and soft looking. And then last we go over here and do pre ones. So let's say do art, uh, do the pop. So you see how it did uh, apply a bunch of different filters to it and did four of them. This one's like the border. Um, you see here that here's a blur, which actually looks really nice. Oops. And we can scroll through here and just pick like rainbow. Let's take a look at this one. And you can see here, there's a little bit of waiting time. So, oh, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use this one. But you can see there's a little bit of waiting time. But in general, it's really nice and smooth. Um, and like I said, this is such a solid thing. Let's go ahead and actually let's go ahead and show you guys how to save and upload. Um, now you can just save and exit, and it will just be saved in your pictures, or you can save and upload. Um, this is tied to your Photoshop.com account. Um, it's free. It, it takes 10 seconds to set up. Um, and you don't have to use it. It's free regardless of what you want to do it. But if you do want to use it, you can go ahead and have the option to save and upload. Um, I've already got mine all set up. So you can go ahead. There's the picture. You can add description. You can select your album, all that kind of stuff. But this we're just going to go ahead and upload it. So it takes just a moment. And you actually see there's a pane just for uploading. So obviously you can make really big ones. So once it's done, let's go ahead and over to the online. Give it just a moment to load. Open up the library, and then and there it loads, and then here it is on my uh, account. So we can just go ahead and close that out, and there it goes. Um, so guys, that's a uh, basically a kind of a tour of Photoshop.com Mobile. Um, seriously, guys, honestly, easily the best photo editing um, I've I've used. I mean. It's really solid, and what really surprises me is the fact that it's free, which I that's that's awesome. And not only that, obviously you can it's synced to Photoshop.com, so you can share these pictures really easily. But also that it runs really smoothly. There's no hangups. It doesn't glitch. Even when you're doing all kinds of filters and stuff, I mean it takes maybe two or three seconds. 
So anyway guys, that was just my look on Photoshop.com mobile. Um, I highly recommend the application. It's free. I say guys, go ahead and check it out and you definitely will not be disappointed.